guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very different video than normal. We are doing a vlog, which is just a vlog with a voiceover because I did not film any content with my voice in it. Um, so I was invited out to LA by Ubisoft, the wonderful, wonderful Ubisoft, uh, for a chance to play Star Wars Outlaws, which I will touch on a little bit later in the video and in a future upcoming video. But to start off our adventure in LA, we went on a boat tour. So it was originally a whale tour to see if we could spot any whales. We didn't see any, unfortunately, but we saw hundreds of dolphins. And I never thought I could see this many dolphins all at once before. It was such a magical experience. And as someone who is terrified of the ocean, terrified of boat rides, who has never been on a boat before, I was not prepared for this. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway. It's not something I get to experience every day. So I did it. So basically they invited a bunch of the UK creators who got there early because our flights were booked early because it's a very long travel time. Like it it was like a 12 hour journey. So we all did this just to kind of chill, relax, get to know each other. And it was really, really cool. Like look how many there is guys. This was insane. Thankfully the weather wasn't too bad either. It wasn't like super warm. It was quite early in the morning and then we saw these sea lions and they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along on my journey with me a little bit uh, and show you what all we got up to. Uh, after the boat ride, we basically just chilled, got off the boat, went along the beach, walked along the pier, got some ice cream, got some iced coffees and just kind of talked with everyone. And it was just really nice. I was very, very tired. I'm not going to lie, but it was a great experience. And here is me with the other creators that we were with. And wait, oh my god, is that the Vestmore? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> and then later that night, I got to go out with some of my friends who I've known through Star Wars TikTok since 2019, 2020, which was unbelievably exciting. Finally getting to meet some of my longest friends. We went to a rooftop bar and we got to see the fireworks from Disney, which was so cool to see from a distance. Much cooler to see from here than it is up close. It's such a nicer experience. And um, we just had some drinks, we chilled, we had some snacks. And it was just really, really nice. It was really nice to meet, you know, my friends who have all been able to hang out with each other, but I have not because I am the only one in the group who lives on the other side of the world. But 10 out of 10, loved seeing them so much. And that was a great start to my first day in LA. <laughs> so now we move on to day two, which was the big day, the big event. We got to play Star Wars Outlaws. This was such a surreal experience. Like I've never been invited to anything like this before. And I was so honored to have the chance to play Outlaws alongside a bunch of really cool friends as well. Uh, so we got to the venue, there was all these really cool big posters and everything on the walls. It was really cool. And there's a Ruthless Night Sister who I have known for a very long time through Star Wars TikTok and now through Twitch and YouTube. And it was really, really nice to get to finally meet her after such a long time. And here we see some really cool outfits from the main characters we have KVS and we have ND5 with his cool ass dust jacket. Um, there were screens everywhere, there were snacks for us to try, there was also themed drinks for us to have while we were waiting. Um, we'll see in a second. We have the Malu Run Refresher, we have the Toshari Tea, and we have the Akivan Rain Refresher. Um, and then here is Kyle Katarn, uh, the one and only. It was also really great to finally meet Kyle in person as well. It was really nice to hang out. Um, and yeah, again, more posters of the characters on the walls, which all looked really nice. Um, it was such a crazy, crazy experience. Like they had put so much effort into everything they set up. Here's me with my little NYX jacket where I designed it myself. And here we have a little opening that we walk through into the cantina. This was so immersive. Like, I can't even describe to you how immersive this was. I felt like I was walking into the cantina. Like, I... It was unbelievable. And especially with Ruthie in her KVS cosplay. Like, it felt all so real. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything was set up really nice. All the PCs were in here too. 
And uh, yeah, we got some snacks as well. And here is the blue milk macarons, which were delightful. Uh, here is the NYX claw machine. And Ruthie got her NYX plushie. I was so happy for her. I was so excited to try this. So I, as soon as we saw this, we were like, right, we must... We must get our NYX plushies. We must do this. And then, of course, it was eventually my turn. And I'm not very good at these things. So I failed about six or seven times. And here is the proof of me failing to get my NYX, of course. But it's okay because I got him eventually. And all three of us got our NYX plushies. And here we all are waiting for the panel, taking selfies with our NYX plushies, <laughs> which was super fun. And then we had some panels from the devs and then from the actors in the game. So we had Umberly Gonzalez, we had D. Bradley Baker, and we had Jay Rinkin. And they all play K. Vess, ND5, and NYX. Uh, it was really good to hear their experience from the game. And then here's just a little more of the inside of the venue. I'm going to talk more about the game itself in my next video when embargo lifts. So be sure to check that out. It'll have gameplay and I will be answering your questions. You've asked me on Twitter. Very excited for that video, which is upcoming very soon. And now we move on to day three. So this is probably going to be a bit of a jumble. Me trying to remember everything and speak about everything very quickly. But we got to go to Disney. We were invited on a VIP tour around Disneyland. And this was so exciting. The last time I was at Disney was 2018. So I have not been to Galaxy's Edge before. And I cannot even tell you the excitement that I had. I went in my Grogu gear, of course. And this was me trying to film myself walking in for the first time. So I am very awkward when trying to film vlogs in front of other people. So it's a very bad camera angle, but I had to get my reaction to walking into Batu for the first time ever and getting to experience how immersive this place was. I can't believe how real it felt to be here. I felt like I'd literally just walked into Star Wars, which is quite literally what it is, but I could not believe it. I was stunned. I've only seen a couple of photos online. I've tried to avoid most spoilers off it. Um, so this was mostly entirely new to me. So many of the areas I didn't know about, all the rides I didn't know about. The only thing I've really seen is the Millennium Falcon and the characters that are there. But what I didn't realize was how big the Millennium Falcon was. And this is me realizing, this is me seeing it for the first time. It was huge. That's what she said. But I was stunned. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes. And I was so just gobsmacked to see everything. Um, so it was <laughs> honestly if you've been there you'll know the experience of seeing it for the first time um so there's just a lot of videos of me with it i'm not gonna lie um and as you can see here this was our tour guide lexi she was the loveliest person ever i adore her and i can't thank her enough and here is ray ray's actress was very very pretty i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Your allegiance should be with the first order. These guys are crazy. Be careful, citizen. And there he realized he was being left behind. <laughs> uh, here we see some droids tangled up and left behind. And I was very sad about that. Um, and I got to see the Acolyte wall, which was very exciting. I saw it and ran. And then we got to meet Darth Vader, who was absolutely bloody terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I had no idea what to do or what to say to him. I was very intimidated. <laughs> Um, I'm just very, very awkward. <laughs> but hey, it's part of the experience, right? And uh, we got to see some of the really cool things that were on display outside of his area. And we got to see this cool scroll, which I tried to video in the same way as a scroll, but it didn't really go right because I was shaking and the rug was in the way. But it's fine. That doesn't matter. Um, so here was us going to starters for the first time. I was very, very excited to do this. And we got to experience the Mandalorian, Grogu, Ahsoka, and the Purgles all in one go. Now, apparently there's over 200 different things that you can see on the screen, different variations. And I... I'm not gonna lie, I literally teared up when I saw Mando and Grogu on my screen. And then seeing the Purgles was so surreal. So I really enjoyed that. I would love to go on that a million more times. Uh, and then we took a little stop off at the restaurant. Uh, so this was Docking Bay 7. We had some nice food, some nice snacks, uh, some drinks. 
And we also got to see a gonk droid. I was almost late picking up my order because I was too busy staring at the gonk droid. <laughs> uh, and then we continued on on our journey around Batu. I saw this gonk droid who needs a lot of help. Um, so I'm going to go back and help him and free him and steal him. And then we saw these guys again. I was very upset. We never got to see Mando. Every other group got to see Mando except for my group. I was very upset, but we saw Kylo and the Stormtroopers a lot. And here is a little experience of that. Suspicious. If you don't believe them, you detain them. We have enough room in our prisoner transports for them or for you. Now, am I making myself perfectly clear? Affirmative. Good. Now move out. we go round behind the Millennium Falcon. We get to go inside and see Hondo Onaka, which was surreal. So I unfortunately was spoiled about Hondo being here, but I never saw any videos of him. And when I walked in and heard him speak, I honestly, if I didn't know he was there, I would have thought he was real. Yes, come in, come in. I have an opportunity for you all that is bad. <laughs> he was so believable and like, Incredible, 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 incredible. That's all I can say about him. So this was for the Smuggler's Run ride, which again, I had no idea what to expect from that. I went in and I was a gunner and I had no idea we just basically got to walk through the Millennium Falcon to get to it. It was so freaking cool. I, th I think it was a win, honestly. We didn't crash, we didn't die, we didn't do any of that. We made it back safely with the Coaxium, so hey. Um, and this was me walking out. It was so cool to walk through. And this wall is a Cal Kestis wall. Not gonna lie. And then we went on... Um, I, I, I don't know why I have so many photos of me with the Millennium Falcon. It's not even one of my favorite ships, but hey, it looked really cool. And then we have the Loath Cat, the sleeping Loath Cat, and I wanted to take him home. He's so cute. He breathes his tail wide because I wanted to cry. And in that shop where he was... Uh, well, he was not for sale, but he was on display in a store. And in that store, I got myself my black chrysanthemum plushie. I was so, so hyped to find him. He's very cute. And here we see some gonk droid footprints, which led to the gonks. Very cute little guys. <laughs> and then we got to finally, after three attempts, we got to go on Rise of the Resistance. It kept shutting down on us, and I was very upset about that. But I have not had any spoilers. I had no idea what to expect with this. And it blew my expectations out of the water. Absolutely. It's the real experience. I need to go on it a million times more. Also, these stormtroopers, intimidating as fuck. I'm not going to lie. And the Imperials that were working there, the Imperial actors, were terrifying. They were phenomenal at their job and made it feel so real. Out of trouble. <laughs> all that experience we got to go to droid depot i made myself a chopper i was very excited about him so i know i have my own little child um we also got to visit the cantina which was really fun ogus cantina we got to try some really nice drinks and i got to take some really pretty mugs home i was very happy with this and that was basically the experience we hung around for a bit more and then we went to downtown disney for a bit 
And we ended our day. We were there literally from 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. It was a very, very long day, but it was totally worth it. Had the experience of a lifetime with so many friends, and I'll never, ever forget it, ever. So here is some of the merch that I bought as well throughout the experience. So there is my chopper, which you can see, and then the Lothcat mug, the Endor mug, my black Crescenta, my Nyx that I got, my Grogu Crispy, and my chopper pit droid t-shirt, which I'm going to fail miserably to turn over here because I could not do it with one hand. It has a gunk droid on the back of it with another pit droid, and this... It's a kid's t-shirt, but I got an extra large so that it would fit me as like a crop top and it's perfect. This is my Grogu hoodie, some Grogu earrings, and I also got a California magnet and a Canada magnet, even though I was quite literally in Canada for all of two hours in the airport. Um, but I like to collect them, so yeah, it was a great experience. I didn't even mention who all I got to hang out with, so I got to hang out with some really awesome creators such as Kyle Katarn, Ruthless Night Sister, Vestmore, Lunar Squadron, As a True, Star Wars Explained, Battlefront updates, so many people that I've seen online for so many years and have never got to meet them until now, which was such a crazy, crazy experience. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough photos with everybody, which makes me really sad, but I'm... At the minute, I'm just kind of going through some of the photos that I didn't get videos of, I guess. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming on this journey with me. Um, I'm sorry it was a bit of a mess and it was all very, like, fast-paced. But again, I need to learn how to make better vlogs in the future so I don't just have to do voiceovers. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're ready for my future Outlaws video. Can't tell you when it's coming out yet, but it'll be very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And I'll see you guys then, so peace and may the force be with you.